today's meal today I'm gonna be cooking a honey glazed salmon with asparagus and vegetables Ooh, like very healthy like and then I'm going to do a lean green smoothie on the side oh yeah. I'm ready for so, today's meal baby girl I'm ready because this meal is very healthy and I'm just ready my palates are ready I know we said that in every video but it really is ready because I have an ex Okay, yeah. so let's get into this grocery list. Yes, let's baby go. girl. Let's go. And of course, guys, we're gonna start off with the star of the show, our salmon. We have a nice piece. Nice piece of peachy pink piece of salmon. Mm -hmm. Ooh. And then we have our asparagus, of course. Mm -hmm. Very essential um, vegetable for this meal. Mm -hmm. And then we have some cauliflower blend. We're gonna go with the frozen fruits today. Mm -hmm. Then, guys, for our seasonings. We have, we're gonna use a little bit of adobo. Yes. We're gonna use some onion powder. Yes. We're gonna use some black pepper. Yes. We're gonna use some garlic powder. Uh -huh. And we're gonna use some ginger powder. Mm -hmm. Now guys, we're also gonna put a dash of, of sazon. Sazon goes so good with seafood. Any mm -hmm. kind of fish, sazon is a season to go with. We're gonna use some olive oil to cook all of that. We're gonna also add some lime to our salmon. And also, one of these limes are gonna go for our smoothie. Talking about smoothie, what kind of smoothie are we making? We We're have making strawberries a, here. A strawberry, banana, pineapple. Pineapple chunks. Uh-huh. <gasps> Bananas. Uh-huh. And we have some almond milk. But you're forgetting the most important part. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes, we're forgetting our baby spinach. Yes. yes. And for sweetening, we're gonna add some agave. We're gonna to use that. some agave. Yes. And then we're gonna add like a tip of sugar to also. No, that's that sugar is for the 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 salmon. Oh, for the salmon. Okay. Along with, I'm gonna use for some the of the agave for for the sauce. For the salmon too also. And also for seasons guys, we're gonna use some garlic. Garlic, garlic is very essential for Yeah, the especially for the asparagus. Yes. Uh -huh. So let's get into this meal, baby girl. We are hungry. Yes. We're famished as always. I'm ready for this healthy. We all day. We're ready this for this healthy specific meal. meal. Yes, I'm very ready. Very much healthy and very low calorie. So let's get into it. Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is wash our salmon with some vinegar. You wanna pour it on and then you wanna put some water on that. And just shuffle it around. I'm trying to get the rawness off be, of the salmon. Be, be careful with her though. I don't want her to, to break. Yeah, be okay. careful with her. Okay, treat her delicately. Okay guys, so now that our salmon is cleaned, we've gotten rid of all of the germs and the bacteria with the um, vinegar. Now it's time to season our salmon. But before we do that, we're gonna dry a bit because salmon tends to soak water and we don't want it to be too, too like soggy or soppy. So we're gonna put it on a piece of hand towel and we're just gonna kind of sap it like this just to soak up some of the water, just a little bit. Okay, that's good. Now we can put it back. Make sure we drain our plate and then we're going to put it back in the plate. Okay, now it's time to season. To sazon. So we're going to use a little bit of adobo. Not too much because we're going to put sazon on there also. And yeah, so we're not going to put too much of adobo. Just a little bit on both sides. Then we're going to reach for our sazon. 
my favorite season to use on seafood. And we're gonna sprinkle one pack on one side. And then the other, flip that, put the other one on the other side. And then we're gonna add a little bit of onion powder, both sides. Remember guys, when you're seasoning, flip your meat and make sure the seasoning is distributed on both sides. Now we're using some garlic powder, just a little bit. And now we're gonna add a little bit of black pepper on both sides. Mm -hmm. Now guys, we don't really like our food that spicy, so we're not gonna put that much. Now you're gonna work the season into the salmon. Oh, we gotta be delicate because we don't wanna break her. All right, but we're working it in. Working her in. Working her in on both sides. And the black pepper is gonna make me sneeze. I'm trying to hold it in. Okay. You see that nice orange color from the Sazon? Yes, I love when the meat has this color, seafood. I just love it. Okay. So guys, now we're gonna cut our salmon in three pieces and we're gonna go in this direction. So we're starting off like this. Three pieces, guys. I wanna make sure that it's evenly cut. So that's one piece. And then we're gonna cut this down the middle. Nice long pieces. Well, you guys can cut your salmon wherever, however you want it, but this is how we like our salmon long, mm -hmm. like this. Okay, so we have three nice pieces of salmon. And we're gonna throw them back into this plate right here. Let them marinate nice. a little bit more. Let them marinate a little bit more. And yeah, we're gonna move on to the next thing. So guys, meanwhile the salmon is marinating, the season is getting down into the, the, the core of the meat. We're gonna move on to the asparagus. So we wanna wash our asparagus first. Wash it off. Then we're gonna go over to our cutting board and we're gonna clip off the ends that we don't want. So guys, we're gonna line it up and then we're gonna cut. I'm gonna get rid of those. Yeah, we don't want these hard, the hard ends. Mmm, those look green and nice. Mm-hmm. So this end is good for the asparagus. We wanna keep that end. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna put these to the side there and we're gonna move on to our garlic. We're gonna de-shell our garlic. Okay guys, so it's time to dice up our garlic. So guys, now that I'm done dicing up my garlics, it's time to move on to boiling my asparagus. Now I have a pot already on the stove boiling. I need to add some salt to that, so a little bit of salt and a little bit of black pepper. It's not gonna be that much. Just a little dash, a little dash of salt. And then we're gonna add a little bit of black pepper to that also. And then we can now put in our asparagus. And we're gonna let those boil for five minutes. We don't wanna over boil them. Just for five minutes, and then we're gonna cover that. So guys, now that we've had our asparagus on the stove boiling for five minutes, what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn our stove off, 
and then we're gonna drain this water, drain the asparagus from the water. Let me get my things, I don't wanna get burned. So I'm gonna take it over here to my sink and I'm gonna use a drainer, drain the water. Okay, put this pot aside. Now guys, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna get a pan or a bowl with some ice cubes and you're gonna put some cold water on it. We're gonna add some cold water to it. We're gonna let the ice marinate into the cold water for a bit because we want it to get really cold. Really cold guys, like freezing cold. Ooh, 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 ooh. Now guys, we're gonna place our asparagus into this cold water. So our reason for doing this is it's gonna give the asparagus a shock value and it's gonna allow it to keep its green, nice color. So we're gonna leave that in there for like five minutes. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna leave it in there for five minutes and then we're gonna come back and then we're gonna put it on our stove. So now guys, the last part of preparing your asparagus, we're gonna put it into this frying pot. First, we wanna add a little bit of olive oil. Make sure you work that all around the pot. Then we're gonna add some garlic to that. Just a dash of garlic. Then we're gonna use our little swivel and work that around a, in the pot. You mean a spatula? My spatula, I call it my swivel wivel. And work it around. Ooh, you can smell. Ooh, guys, I wish y'all could smell. That smells good. Okay, we're gonna work it around. <laughs> girl, Olive Garden's who? Baby girl, we got the garlic over here, girl. Olive Garden's who? Okay, we can turn our stoves down a little bit. So guys, after we take our asparagus from the cold water, we wanna put it in a piece of, of napkin and we're gonna dry it. We don't want wet, soggy um, asparagus. So we're gonna dry that real quickly. Dry it. And then we're gonna put it into our pots. We're gonna add it to our pots. And mix it all up with the garlic and everything. Mix it up. Now we're gonna add some more black pepper and a little bit more salt to this. Just a little pinch, not that much. And we're just gonna let that saute a little bit. Now guys, do not let asparagus cook for too long because it's already easy to cook and we don't want it to be soggy. We want it to still have that crisp, crunchy taste. And we don't want it to start turning brown. We need to keep that nice green color. Yes. So it's actually, it's actually finished cooked already. It depends on how crunchy you like it. We like it really crunchy. We like when we, we bite into our asparagus, it sounds like we're eating a piece of um, potato chips, baby girl. Okay hey guys, so now that the asparagus is ready, time to get to the main course. Now it's time for me to start my salmon. So I have here a pot on the stove that is already hot. I'm gonna add one stick of butter to the pot. Ooh, sizzle baby. And I'm gonna put the stove on medium heat. And I'm gonna allow this butter to melt. Look at that. Just gonna wait till that melts to add my other ingredients. Okay, now that my butter is melted, I'm gonna add my other ingredients. I'm gonna go ahead and add some onion powder. Just a dash onion powder in there. I'm gonna go ahead and add some, just a splash of ginger to give it that zing. Just a splash like that, it's not a lot. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add my garlic, some garlic in here. Yeah. Be generous with the garlic. And I'm gonna mix that around. Then I'm gonna add some agave. You can, you can use honey also, but I'm gonna use agave. Add a generous amount. Now mix that around. Then you're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of brown sugar. Give the thing some color, some nice browning color. Yes. Mm -hmm. A little bit of brown sugar. Ooh, in there. Of brown sugar there. You don't need a lot because you have the honey. Look at the gravy. I get tick tick now. Ooh. That, oh, this look like tamarind sauce. Ooh. Mix it up, Kiri. The salmon here, I got finger licking good. Ooh, look at that sauce. Ooh, no care. This looks like tamarind sauce for real. You sure not tamarind sauce here, yeah, man? It's honey glaze. Okay. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add some lime, or you can use lemon, but I have lime. Anyone will do. 
Apply your boy you have lime squeezer before you use your hand. The lime squeezer helps to get everything out. I can't. So you're gonna add that in there. Ooh. Make Give it sure that citrusy zing. That citrusy zing. Yes. Ooh. Mix that up. And half is good. You don't need any more than half. Cause you know what? Yeah, it's some of them too so I'm in love. You just want that like a zing. So now that your sauce is kind of thickening up, first get, get give it a little taste. Make sure it's Mmm. Oh my god. Let me taste it, Kerry. And then the lime just Oh it up on me. Ooh. The lime just had that zing. Ooh, that tastes good. Mmm. Okay, so good. now that that's that like that, we're gonna start adding our salmon to the pot. Where are my salmon? My well seasoned salmon. Okay. Ooh, look at okay, that. Okay, so you're gonna add it with the skin down gonna lay it out like this with the skin because the skin is gonna be the blanket or the foundation we, we <laughs> not gonna do that again it's gonna be the blanket like that you're gonna do it like that and you're gonna make sure your stove is down on four so that's like medium medium low medium low yeah and you're gonna let that side do for three minutes and then come back and turn it over and let the other side do. So are you gonna cover the pot or are you gonna leave no, it? No, like you're gonna leave the pot like that. Oh. And also I have my oven, because I'm gonna put it in the oven next. I have my oven preheated to 400. So yeah, we're gonna leave that for a little, a little bit and then come back. So guys, I was gonna flip my salmon, but I'm not gonna flip it because I don't want it to break apart. What I am gonna do though is I'm gonna take some like the gravy and put it on top of my salmon. Cause remember, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it in the oven soon, so it will get evenly cooked. So you don't have to worry about flipping it. Just make sure that you put the gravy on top of the salmon like this. Yes, look at that. Mmm. Yes. That looks so, nice. I'm gonna let someone look well glazed up on thing, my love. Look like a real turkey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look like a Christmas ham. Mm. And we're gonna let that. Do its thing for another, say, three to four minutes. Then we're going to pop it in the oven. Okay, guys. So now I'm going to transport my salmon into my baking pan to put it in the oven. But before, I'm going to, like, grease my pan a little bit first with some butter. Or as you guys say, margarine. Because you guys was on me telling me that butter and margarine is two different things. So I'm going to grease my pan a little bit. Be careful and make sure that you do not tear the salmon apart. So guys, it was a task getting the salmon out of this pot to this big pan to put it in the oven. Oh my God, salmon is so hard to lift. So I'm gonna add my sauce over this, my honey glazed sauce. And then I'm gonna put this in the oven for say like 10 minutes until it gets that nice brown crispy kind of look. That's the look that we're going for. Okay, so pop it in the oven, which is already preheated. And yeah, 10 minutes. Okay guys, so now that we have our salmon in the oven and it's about to be done, time to get these steamed vegetables out of the way. Now I have a pot on the stove that's already boiling with my steam tray right here. So I'm going to put my vegetables in there. But as you can see, these vegetables are already like partially cooked, so it's not gonna take that long. So I'm just gonna add it to here. Then I'm gonna cover that and allow it to steam for say five to 10 minutes. So guys, now that my vegetables is steamed a little bit, I am going to go ahead and add some black pepper and salt to that. You know, to give it some seasoning. Add some salt now. And I'm gonna mix that around. Just to make sure that it's even all throughout. And then this is actually done. I'm just gonna leave this for like two minutes more. And then that should be it. Now it's time to make our smoothies, Craig. Are you ready? Let's go. I'm ready to eat. I'm starving. Are you ready? I'm ready for this meal. Worst is healthy. I'm ready. Okay, let's My go. body needs the protein. Smoothie I'm pack. ready. Okay, guys. So now time for the finale, and that's our power smoothie. What did this call the green machine? Yes. Yes. So let's go ahead and add our ingredients to our ninja blender. Okay, so we're gonna add our strawberries first. You want to add a good amount of the frozen fruits because that's what's going to give the smoothie the consistency that mm -hmm. you, we need. The iciness. Yes, the iciness. So we're going to add those. Is that enough? 
Yeah. Should I add some more strawberries? No. Okay. This, yeah. That's good enough. Okay, we're gonna add our bananas there. It's already diced up. I'm gonna add all our bananas. All our bananas. That's mm -hmm. good potassium. Okay. Add our bananas. Mm -hmm. You might okay. need to add add um, the almond milk, but we might need to blend it before you we're add We're gonna it. add the almond milk. The spinach. Now we're gonna blend this up before we add our spinach. Blend this up first. Just to get a little space. Yeah, because our blend is kind of crammed. So guys, we're gonna let this Ooh. Ooh, that looks so good already. Ooh. Okay guys, so now we're gonna add our spinach to the mix. A lot of spinach. A lot? Okay. More? More? Yes. Okay, you're gonna add some more spinach to that. Yes, and also add some agave. And then we're gonna add some agave. Okay guys, and then we're gonna blend that up. Ooh, you see that color that the spinach is adding? Oh yes, I am ready for this. Oh guys, this looks so good. Ooh, let's open this up. Ooh, I can't wait to taste this, guys. Ooh. Ooh, look at this. I'm gonna pour it into our containers. That looks so rich and good. That looks so rich and good, guys. Guys, look at this though. Ooh. Ooh, look at this salmon. Kerry, we ready to eat. Look at this salmon. This salmon looks so juicy. Look at this. Uh-uh, I'm ready. My taste buds are salvating. I'm ready. Oh I did that. God is good. God is great. Let us, Let us thank him for our food. food. Amen. Amen. And please bless the hands that prepare. Please bless the hands. Time to dive in. Guys, when I tell Yo. you this is the best meal I'm about to have. Mm -hmm. huh? This meal is so healthy. Mm -hmm. mm. But it's scrumptious. Guys, this meal is so healthy. After you're done eating this, you're going to want to go to Burger King or McDonald's or something to get something mm -hmm. unhealthy. Ooh. Wait, is it asparagus? Yeah, let's try the asparagus. Mmm. Mmm. Nice and crunchy. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Let's try the, 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 the star of the show. The salmon. Salmon. Ooh, I could already tell by the sauce. Mmm. 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 Well seasoned. Mm. The, the, the right amount of tenderness. It's not too. It's not overcooked. And then this honey glaze that's on top of it, girl. This sauce is the bomb. This sauce kind of give me kind of teriyaki kind of taste, mm -hmm. right? It tastes good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Hey, guys, the vegetable you do up, crunchy and nice, man. Guys, I'm gonna make this again. Let's try the smoothie. Mm, mm, mm. Let's try the smoothie real quick. Let's sit up a little bit. Let's see what you did. Mmm. Mmm. Thick and nice. Oh my god. I'm in heaven. No stop. That means that maybe want to turn vegan below. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We want to try this. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mmm. Mm. The salmon though. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-mm. I did that right now. This is so good. Mm-mm. Oh dear good. This meal don't even it's healthy mm -hmm. but it's so tasty. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is definitely a meal for all the skinny legends out there. 
definitely. Mm, 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 mm. It's so good. I can't even talk. Mm. I don't want this milk to end. Ugh. Mmm. Mmm. I'm to my pinch of salmon. Salmon, go in. Mmm. Mmm. I don't want it to end. What's a salmon nice? I think it's a bigger piece than me. If you ever come back to me, I'll stab you right now, you have blood clot. I'm a serious this time. Nobody never going to go here and ask the pit. I'm going to go here and go here. I'm going to go here and go here. I'm going to go here and go here. What the hell? You could have brought it to the people who want to go here and go here. Mmm. 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 You have to as witness and know that you're always coming in my plate. No, some more, some more asparagus. Mmm. Asparagus tastes mad good. Mmm. Baby girl. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Come chew. Who would have thought that mm. something so healthy tastes so good, baby girl? Mmm, 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 mmm. This salmon, baby girl. Mmm. Man, I eat this every day that I eat rice. With a second part. <laughs> I will. Yeah, this is healthy. I need more vegetables, bro. Mmm, 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 mmm. So good. Mm. Can I have a little more asparagus? Mm. This is so healthy, girls. It's so good. Go back for a second, because it's very healthy. This is so good. Mm -mm. Girl. Mm -mm. Let me have a sip of my smoothie. This is the one meal I don't feel guilty. Girl. Maybe I need some more vegetables, too. No, some more punch it up. No, sir. Mmm. Mmm. Some more vegetables. I think I want to put this like this sauce on my vegetables. Guys, I can't talk. So good. Mm. Y'all hear that crunch, though? Oh my god, guys. Ugh. This meal came out so good. Mmm. So good. Mmm. No, sir. Guys, when we come out with a cookbook, you guys have to buy it. Mm mm. So good. Mm. You taste that little kick of 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 lime. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. I did that. So good, guys. <sighs> this meal is everything. Well, have a sip of my smoothie. Why are you eyeing my smoothie? Oh my god. Mm. I'm gonna eat every grain. Smoothie's so rich and nice. Every crumb. So guys, guys, as we go to the PO box, we're not going to stop until we get one. We're not sure when we're going to have one, but I'm so annoyed. We're going to get one eventually. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. We just might not get one before Christmas, but okay. Everything happens for a reason. Mm -hmm. Ooh, this. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, sir. Like, Some food drop. That was amazing. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That was amazing. It's one of the most healthiest, most tastiest meal I ever had. It was so good. Mm. Mm -mm. Amazing. Oh, smoothie 
is so rich. Guys, this meat was this meal was so healthy, but still filling. Mm, so good. Brain freeze. People get no damn brain freeze. I have a brain. You couldn't tell me what I have. The smoothie is not that cold for brain freeze. Mm -hmm. Now, so that food needs to wheel and come again. That food needs tastes really good care with us back to that. Still feel slim. Who feels so snatched? That meal was 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 one for the skin legends. Baby, mm -hmm. baby, I'm too baby. Fat bitch to the bank, baby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. You know what? You gonna lift the place here? Huh? Yeah. No, we have to sign on. In three, two, one. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned how to cook this nice and healthy, delectable, scrumptious meal. And if you ever recreate, recreate this meal, <laughs> tell us your video on your Instagram. Instagram. Send us pictures, videos, baby girl. Yeah. We so. want to see. Mm -hmm. Hello. As we always say, guys, every day is another chance to slay. slay, slay, slay. So slay while you eating this so healthy slay. meal. Slay and be a skin legend. legend. Slay and be a skin legend. We see you in the next one, guys. See y'all tomorrow. Wait, 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 wait. I know you wasn't about to leave without subscribing. And while you're at it, click the bell right beside it so you can know every time we upload a video. And girl, make sure you like this video, girl, and leave a comment down below, girl. Okay, girl. Okay. Right now. Body twins. Body, 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 body twins. Body twins. Body twins. Body, 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 body twins. Body twins. Body twins. Body, 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 body twins. Body twins. Body twins. Body, 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 body twins.